make lazy pierogi. I'm sure that most of you are familiar with the regular dough-filled pierogi that you can buy in the supermarket and some of you probably make your own. I love them. They're a lot of work. This is a recipe that my mother made for us when we were kids all the time and I absolutely love it. It's a toss-up whether I like these better or the others. I have here a pound of farmer's cheese. Uh, farmer's cheese is it's a unique kind of a cheese. It's, it's sort of like in the cottage cheese family, but it's a little bit drier. If you can't find it, it comes in a, in a block like this in the supermarket. Don't get the one that looks like a teardrop and is very flat and hard. You can't use that type of farmer's cheese. This one is wet. You can see it's, it's wrapped in like a wax paper. If you can't find farmer's cheese, you can buy regular cottage cheese and you can put it in a cheesecloth lined sieve over a bowl in the refrigerator covered overnight to let most of the water drip out. Cottage cheese by itself has too much water content. Not, not as much as, the, it has much more than this. Anyway, in our bowl, one pound, I'm going to add to that two egg yolks, saving the whites, we're going to use those. I'm going to get just a little bit of salt, like a half a teaspoon, and one cup of flour. And I'm just going to mix this together. This takes a few minutes to get this all incorporated. And once this is all blended up, I'm going to take the egg whites and beat them up and then add them to this. Just don't want any big flower pockets. Okay, that's pretty good for now. That aside, and I've got my two egg whites here, and I'm going to beat them up. Sorry about the noise, but it's a necessary evil. As you can see, they're not stiff, they're just frothy. And now I'm going to add those into the dough and mix it again. That's good enough. You don't have to worry about it because I'm going to mix it again on the counter. Get some flour. Dump all the dough on the counter. And now what I want to do is I want to make a long rope. These are nothing more than cheese dumplings, but boy are they good especially when you fry them in butter afterwards. And we're looking for a thick rope, not a, a skinny one. But not quite this fat. And I've got a pot here that's got wa salted water in it and I'm bringing that to a boil. And then a fry pan over there with butter. We're going to cook these in the boiling salted water for a few minutes, and then we're going to fry them in the butter. Okay. Now I'm going to cut them in an inch. Now, if you wanted to make these for dinner tonight or for tomorrow, you could very easily do this. Put them on a plate, cover them with plastic wrap, and put them in the refrigerator and you can keep them for a day or so before you start cooking them. So it makes a good, quick side dish. This goes good with a beef dish, a chicken dish, or the way I like it, just like this. So I got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 dumplings. 
Now all I have to do is wait for my water to boil, so while that, I'm waiting for that to boil, I can go clean up my hands and clean up the dishes, and I'll be right back. Well, I've got a pot of boiling water, so now we can proceed to cook our lazy pierogi. I'm going to take a few at a time, put them into boiling water, and I'm going to let them, they all fall to the bottom, and then we want to wait until they climb to the top. I'm doing half the recipe, so I don't want to crowd them in because it's going to take the water too long to come back to boil. And then I have a pan here with some melted butter. How much butter? How much do you want? So I'm going to then remove them with a slotted spoon, put them in the frying pan. Some people like them just lightly sauteed in the butter. Some people like them in the butter until they're crisp. So we will do them until they're crisp. These actually, when they go into the boiling water, they puff up, they get fluffier because of the egg and the egg white. Drain off as much of the water as you can. Sauteing, I'll put the rest of these in and let them cook up. 